A big shout out and thank you to our friend over all the way from London. His name is Mark DeFoss. Thank you so much for an hour of all the broad music right here on Trans Africa Radio. The big switch has indeed happened. It's available every Saturday from 5 to 6 p.m. Central African time, at which point I pop into the studio. My name is Leroy Mark. I'm with you until 8 p.m. Central African time for news, views, reviews, and interviews and kick ass content. And of course, I've got a great guest in the studio with me all the way to 7 p.m. Central African time. His name is Mo T. Okay. <laughs> so, students is a bit of school, yeah. just so you know. Oh, come on, man. <laughs> Come on, uh, with the with the high fees. <laughs> Come on, hey, wasn't high, with the high fees. fees. Slightly hey, high, hey, you know. They were hey. market related. Let's talk about sports, brother. <laughs> hey. Come you on, know, man. You know, no, you know, no, no, no. Kiss, kiss boys though, have always been known as a as the dangerous kids, you know. You know what I, I love about kids, kids, hey? right? Kids, kids has a great sporting heritage, right? Yes, yes. But um, apart from that, like you guys have a camaraderie like I've never seen in any other school. Like, yes. I mean, I've got friends like my very yes. good friend now. He's from Kids, and I've tried yes. to break his spirit, man. I go there every yeah. day. I'm like, you guys were rubbish. No, but you know what? You know what? The only thing that I think well, it would have been great for me. Was the music that Sincidians or offers? Yeah. Like I saw the kids playing trumpets one day. Oh, yeah. And I was like, hey, why didn't I. But I mean, that's so interesting for me that no? you, 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 you bring up the trumpet issue because, I mean, yeah. we're chilling, we're, me and now actually were talking about you before you came to the yes. studio. And we're like, you know, it's not a very um, usual instrument. The clarinet is more usual <laughs> than, than the trumpet. Or you the know? saxophone. Or the saxophone, yes. you know. And, and then the trumpet. The trumpet, I mean, it, when you close your eyes and think trumpet, you're thinking brahu. Yes. And of, of a c- certain age. Oh, yes. Why did it intrigue you? Well, this is all inspiration for my dad. Yeah. Or my late dad. And he used to play the trumpet for Manga Groove. Okay. So, from the first day when I heard his sound, I was like, yo, this is my thing. This is my thing. And I was only two years old. You know, and Jay something and Dr. Duda, they were like, hey, man, what did you know when you were two? Ah, bro, stop lying to us. Like, you know? and, and I'm like, Jens, I promise you. Just inside. From the time. Sword, yes, I was like, that time I was two years old. I promise you guys, I fell in love with the instrument. And I actually had my, my little, well, I thought it was a fake trumpet. It was a cornet. Yeah. So I would always want to play my dad's one. So he'd be like, no, take this one, take this one. And he'd give me the cornet. So one day I broke that cornet, oh, wow. which I've still got till today. And only when I, when, when I grew much older, then I was like, hey, I actually broke a real trumpet. Like in, Yo, in, in I was a problem child. Or already at two years. <laughs> I broke guy. it. And I was a strong kid, man. I was, I'm so strong. <laughs> hey, you know what I mean? <laughs> okay, no, no, look, you're looking much fitter and much stronger. I embarrassed you earlier on before we came on air and said the Times Media Live is referring to you as the new body goals. <laughs> body goals I've been called many things in my life never body goals I mean that is I, I believe that is better than any Salma award that's better than any Metro award that is bigger than any Kora award for you to be no, called man, you know, body goals you know that's the best award to have every day when you wake up you know because you feel good you know that just that feel good part when you wake up and, and you just want to do more like I'm addicted to fitness you know and and fitness and music of course but I mean um, if I have a kids in the morning you know I just but I can't stay away from the gym. So yeah, I have to do something. I have to do something, you know. And it's been such a great routine for me. And it's paying off well now, man. Listen, you know? and for you to call body goals, man, like, uh, ah, no, no one, no one, no, no, no one's no. called think, me body goals. No, I think, you know, they were being too nice <laughs> at the same time. Man, I understand know? why they say that, though. Because, I mean, yes. for me, there's always... So, I'm a big gym fanatic. I'm but a you gym saw the before days. picture. You saw the before picture. No, I saw the before picture. So, and then, you and, know? And, and, and I'm not mad the before picture. Because remember yes. that, like, we live in, in a country and a continent where... Um, yes. where I mean, we'll, we'll get back to music in a second because I like the, the fact that you've got these two addictions going on at the same time. You know what I mean? Yes. Um, but for me, gym is an addiction as well. Um, and for me, I'm, I'm the opposite. I was a skinny kid. You know, I played rugby at St. Yes. for one match. Fly half, I grabbed the ball, I passed it back and I ran to the girls' college and I slept there. I was like, I'm not coming back until the match is done. So we are playing <laughs> lesser man, but you know, different story. But you know, I was working from so sort of very scrawny kid trying to put some bulk on because you know, clothes don't look as good when you're tiny. Yes. Which is the same thing when you're at the other end of the, of the spectrum. When did the, the, the bug bite? When were you like, ah, uh-uh. Jim? Um... So when I was actually running out of breath on stage now yeah. well, performing, I was starting to get tired at times because you know the Mikasa schedule is crazy ridiculous you know we're still busy like even now even though we're doing more African shows at the moment but um, yeah, even here at home we're still doing some shows but I mean um, there came a time when I just like I just felt that wow man this is this might be the end now because like I'm taking my body for for more than what it can handle yeah. you know and then I was just like, you know what, let me actually train more, you know? And that's where the whole thing kicked in. So so from the busy schedule 
and also the diet had to change like 100 percent but the i mean diet had to change you know and that's the hardest part where you you say ah now i'm gonna sacrifice this and i've been eating this like my whole life so now i must now i must stop eating this at, or i must at, stop drinking that you know at, at, at seven colors dinners you yes, have to like now, only have three and also now uh, this whole fitness spot will also create some fights yeah because you go to uh, uh, to mommy's house uh, and or, you can't or, have the mashed potato or, yes and then you're like hey and then she's like ah all, i raised you on these potatoes all these, mom. all these years and then you've grown up eating this what's going on now hey you've changed don't you've you find changed, it very weird you know? <laughs> that when you decide to have like your body change right when you decide whatever it is like you know i'm gonna put work into it yes. and you start seeing results and results are the biggest motivator right yes because you're like oh snap i couldn't get into that shirt two weeks ago yes and now it's a little loose i like that 100 you know? and you wear a blazer and now you can reach over your back 100 you know? percent. there's a point uh, no, but I'm actually glad you're saying that. There was a point when, I, like, I had all my expenses suits and I was like, you know what? I'm actually gonna give this away. But yeah. you know, hey, my heart was so sore. Because like, <laughs> hey, yeah, yeah. I'm like, hey, I remember what I paid for this one, and I remember what I paid for that one. And then I was like, and I was like, no, 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 no. And I actually kept my suit. That that's the one thing also that motivated me. And I yeah. was like, listen, um, I actually have to do some weight. And then I got back, you know, into my suits, and it was voila, like. And and did you feel like, yeah, man? You yeah, know, man. I was like, hey, who is this guy? <laughs> when do you know your body's going downhill? When do you get to that point where you're like, snap, this is going the wrong way? Is it when you have to buy two sizes bigger than you know you were yes. wearing two years ago? Yes. Is it yes. four when sizes? Or when you go for some measurements with a designer and they say, hey, buddy, um, you know, they start like, they bring up an argument. And like, hey, buddy, did you gain some weight? Like, no. <laughs> hey. Just and but one, 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 one extra donut. Yeah, but that time you're like, actually, he's right. Yeah, you know, I, I was two sizes down, and then now, I come forward, I'm going up again. So that's when you like realize, it. and you know, with a band like Mikasa, that's always busy. Yeah, we always, we always have like a fashion designer that's looking after us, and yeah, uh, well, with Papi from Urban Zulu. Yeah. So I mean, um, he'll tell you straight. He'll be like, dude, hey, do something, you know, because this. This used to fit you very well. Now, yeah, you got different and and, and sizes, everything you know? he does from there on needs to change because yes. you were a size thirty four and now you're size thirty six, yes. whatever it is. Yes. I mean, so let's let, let, let's get into to the the, the the sort of marriage between music and yes. fitness, right? Which is a very uncomfortable discussion because if you look at anyone who's been in the industry long enough, in any industry where they're doing well, like Mikasa is, yes, you can tell by us brown folk, man. <laughs> like you know, with with white people, hello to my white people, um, they become leaner, like look like like J Lo. Yes, you know, you look at like 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 um, Edith Fenter. Yes, loads of money, but they yes. just they maintain, so they just eat less. But it's like really good food. Hundred percent. We we're, we're, we're people of opulence, man. We're people of you know the gravy with the steak because um, apparently like you know we're okay to die from gout because that's a rich man's disease, man. Ah, so no, man, I don't how, agree with that. Yeah. How do you how do you how do you then break out of the culture? You know, gout also comes when you're trying to be healthy at times. Yeah, you know, like there's some people where the dude would have been eating all types of food, but now when he's like you'd be like listen I now I want to lose weight and, and I'm ready and he'd be so strict to this diet and say look I'm only going to have fish and, and I'm going to have veggies and I'm going to have um, yeah just veggies fish and water and then that's my diet and I'm going to have fruit of course like yeah. certain types of fruits and you know but just a sudden change when your body thinks hey buddy what's where's, happening where's all the come where's on all, now where's all the food that we're always getting here hey what's going on you know and you give your 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 body like a shock you know and that's where some of the sicknesses come from so like well i know of someone that actually got gout from just eating too much fish you know because we and, went too and, far in the, or and, in the other direction yeah because the body was so used to all the other types of food that steak man yeah, yeah you know it's steak, <laughs> mushroom and the next salts. thing is like hey but i'm only getting fish yeah you know and yeah so that's why i'm like even though or even if you can eat the healthy foods you can still pick up on some sicknesses but for a short while because your body's just trying to uh, well, adapt to, yeah it's just trying to adapt to something new and something that it's not used to in the music you know? industry you yeah. guys are doing well i mean um jay something has a whole restaurant yes you know and he's he's a big foodie yes I, and i mean i'm sure you're going to his house like three times a week for, yes. like, i know if jay was my friend i was working <laughs> with him jay i have a key to his house i'm like don't worry about me just here for dinner picking up my scuff and moving you know yes um and 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 you know when you also get into 
to the you guys are traveling all the time so yes. i know i mean i'm a big gym fan but i'm even struggling with my normal in south africa sort of in africa schedule yes. so i mean i was in botswana a couple of weeks ago yes. and i didn't have access to the food i'd usually eat because i'm either on a plane or yes. driving somewhere and then you get to a restaurant get something quickly drive through that whole thing and yes. with musicians it's even worse because you guys are in four cities in three days mm. even more how are you maintaining that you know food and even you can't pack lunch every day everywhere yes sometimes it's just impractical how you manage it well what saves us is that we got a hospitality rider so all the clients that book us uh-huh. know what what we eat you know and uh yeah so if it was junk food they'll get junk food for us if yeah. it's healthy food they'll get the healthy food for us you know so that's how it goes and then we also do our best also to travel with with them um, like with some like little snacks you mm. know like if you or like cashews and yeah. yeah like the likes of uh, um well we have water also all the time there's always water around Mikasa guys you know and yeah we just try our best to be healthy you know and the whole group actually because Duda does cycling uh, Jay is into well golf also yeah and just the normal training like the everyday training and then I'm also just doing with uh, well I'm doing my training with Street 1000 so let's talk about and that yes. how, how are we getting for us to be body goals from before and after Moti yes what did you do to get yourself going in that direction so now you you know running out of breath on stage you're yes. hemming hey man you know the chest is not doing so yes. well you're getting dizzy then you start off training I yes. mean the hardest thing one is getting a membership because that's when you're really committing like you're committing money to this thing yes and then yes. what happens from there what are the what so I'm is glad the that you mentioned the money because um, <laughs> being healthy is expensive because <laughs> every time every time that you skip training there goes your money down the drain they're debiting anyway <laughs> <laughs> they're gonna take your money so you have to go do it yeah you know and there's always certain things that will push you to go to or for training you know and it's not only just the equipment in the like room but also the drive the people also seeing seeing other people also looking good and then you're like wow man and also social media is also like another thing because you know half the time and what's actually pushed me to do so much training was that i would see that cool i've woken up at 5 a.m in the morning and someone's already completed like a 10 kilometer run yeah and then i'm like yo how did this guy just do this so quickly you know and that time you're like flip like i've just woken up and i'm so tired and then that's when i'd be like no there's no excuse you know or you'd see a guy that's like that's much bigger than you and you'd be like yeah like i'm in the gym and i'm training now you know and then you're like i no 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 no, no. and the time is helpless for bro like what? yeah then you're like no but if he can do it no but it's a sense of motivation because yeah. you know like i love the morning training because like your body just like there's nothing like there's nothing going on like in your head you know you've just woken up uh, you haven't been through a full day haven't fought with anyone yet yeah, you haven't had a fight traffic. with anyone no traffic you haven't like no one's irritated you yet you know so and also not to say the, all the negative stuff but there's also the good stuff that happens sometimes the good stuff happen and then you actually become comfortable now yeah. and you're like ah i know well i don't need to go to gym because this is great man we just changed a great deal <laughs> now so hey man this is cool you know so that's why i'm saying that morning training is also like the best for do you, me do you, do you find you know? it do you find it easier to do morning training for me it's the best though. how long have you been training for it's the best i've been training since you know i've been training for quite a while but the question is when did i start doing the right thing also yeah before, when did you start doing right my body um i would say from last year let's just say it's been what a good two years but i've been two training years. for a while so but, you've uh, gone through the winters know? because yes. Gym is yes. great. Yes. But gym yes. in July. Yes. It's a different yes. place than but gym. But you see now I skipped the recent one because we were in Europe that time. Yeah. And oh, the, so you in the, 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 the spring, summer, then. you know, and then it's <laughs> <laughs> so do that. Yes, yes, we're actually chasing the sun. We yeah. got a song called Chasing the Sun. All right. So, so uh, <laughs> that's, that's how the song came about because we were on tour and we said, guys, we we're actually, literally chasing we the actually, sun. Yeah, we haven't felt the winter, the SA winter. So, you know, it's just been summer for us the whole year. Was the last you know? winter? Um, actually, it was in 2015. 2015. Yes, okay. Yes, yes, so, yes, yes, so, because that winter last year was yes, 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 messy. Yes. Very, very messy. Yeah, but we've been in and out, you know. How do you, how do you yeah. manage to keep, you know, the, the schedule between family? music and now training you know we all have these excuses yes. we bring out and you've got more than enough you've got like you can <laughs> you, you can bring out work you know and yes. which is so quite substantial but also you've got these other responsibilities you know well it's not easy my brother especially or a day like today even you know i've just come from studio i'm actually still in, like in my gym clothes he's in his morning. gym clothes from this morning gym clothes <laughs> from this morning so the day got so hectic yeah. that we had to shoot straight to studio 
and we're working on a little something something you know yeah but uh, we're still on the hush but uh, yeah you know we just we're just having fun we're just having fun today. what do you think is you know? the, the big issue with the with with not just musicians right but you know I mean I, I like to take it back to, to, to the continent we don't have a culture of yes. sort of um, and it's only now developing a part of it is social media because you can you want to be MCM you know yes. you want to be somebody's MCM yes, yes, yes. Um, and you, you've got you know these people in the gym taking selfies um, gym wear has become more comfortable you know you could wear it the whole day and yes. no one raises an eyebrow what do you think has been the biggest impediment to especially with black people getting into the fitness cycle um you know and it's all the stuff that you're saying yeah. you know like the more comfortable you are and then the more you're good to go you know and i mean um yeah that's it you know those are things that actually motivate you and your self-discipline also you know like that's a huge 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 thing that you just have to say hey listen that's the old me and this is the new me or i'm looking for or i'm looking forward to meeting the new guy or yeah. the new moti type of thing you know because you're like hey, this is not mo you this know this is not him so so all the things around you and also the motivation or as i said and the clothing and just being well comfortable and well just being consistent also you know it's a big thing you know and i mean it's just plain simple it's just consistency uh, discipline and just also having that passion you know and knowing what you want you know don't try being like other people don't try get to be like other people or say but i want to look like you yeah. and you know that type of thing just be yourself well i mean the, there's also that huge issue with with being in this industry in the yes. media that as soon yes. as you drop a kilogram yes rumors come out especially with musicians you know yes. they'll say all kinds of things yeah, 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 yeah. Um, he's ill you know the money's gone out yes. and all those kind of things um so also knowing how to deal with that pressure you just you know it, so for people not to say much or people to say all those bad things then probably you just need to go and actually tone your body up you know and actually if you must get more up then get more up you know <laughs> like because rip, <laughs> because sometimes people just lose weight and yeah. they just lose weight like we're saying i just want to lose weight yeah. you know but and then that's the time when you get people now saying hey but look at hey Mo, hey, hey hey we don't know him like this this guy Shem. now he's changing you know Shem. so the minute you actually start giving your body some shape and then that's when it's like hey yeah she looks good you know and then some people don't understand the, the the whole process because sometimes you you what you just need to lose the weight straight up and then you'll do the other work later don't you find you know? that people don't understand that in i mean in this industry um yes. being in the gym being aesthetically pleasing is about as important as the real work you do i uh, use that in inverted commas you know the you being in a studio which is what you do yes. the music is almost as important as what you look like because as you said you've got urban zulu dressing you every, yes. every day you need to look a certain way the image for the for the for for, for yes. the band yourself yes. your brand you'll get the next gig depending on how you look how you the whole brand package but people don't think that's real they always think it's sort of by the wayside <sighs> yeah you know and that actually adds to the brand like i'm dead that you're saying all these things because you you actually answering the question yourself because i mean you know like i always look at the type of effort and the work of course that we've put towards the mikasa brand also you know and that we don't we don't send anything out to the public until the three of us approve of it and we make sure that it like it looks good from our music to the way we look um to how we speak you know and like it's like everyone's just on the same page you know so yeah that's another thing where we're like hey guys we always need to look good uh, we always need to be presentable and but 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 behind the closed doors we're doing the hard work and that's yeah. when we're in the gym and that's when you know you'll go for your facials even if you you like have to you know like yeah so that's what i'm saying that like um it's all up to you you know it's all up to you and whatever you put in is what you're gonna get out in verb you know in verb and that's just like even how you play the trumpet the type of air that you blow in there and everything is, is, is what's gonna come out the other side and that's the bell you know so that beautiful sound that's what you actually working like the people from your heart you know yeah yeah, yeah. we're gonna come back we're gonna chat about sort of the the mixture of you know music and how it's act, how your fitness has helped you in the music industry but also you know how do you start changing the psyche how do you start changing the psyche of people in the music industry outside of the music industry for our black people continentally and how do you also get around those issues of like financing you know because as you said a gym is yes you know sweat 1000 costs stuff but what do we do outside of that to start the journey to body goals because well funny enough i was speaking to to andrew who's the 
who's a co-founder. Well, he's the CEO of, of Sweet 1000 and his brother Paul. Mm. And they're actually finding um, like cheaper ways All right. you know, around Sweet 1000 so that more people can actually train there. Yeah. You know, because people get intimidated by seeing all, like the whole setup and yeah. everything and they're like... I mean, I've been I, to Sweet 1000. You know? I've been to Sweet yes. 1000. Yes. Oh my word. <laughs> Let me tell you about Sweet 1000. Okay, this is treadmill. So most treadmills go from yes. like... One, two, three, four, this one goes five. You can go like twelve. Yes, yes. You press it and it goes you twelve, press it and, and it goes straight there. <laughs> it doesn't until build 20, up until and 20. twenty. And I just remember running. Twenty is a sprint. And my hands were yes, flailing next yes. to me. But what was amazing about it also is that the hour disappears. The hour disappears yes, so quickly. Yeah. You don't know where you come out of there with a bag full of sweat. You're sweating so much you can't even see the clock because no. the sweat all over your eyes. And you're, you're coming down. I remember just rolling down. And I was doing it with Mika Stefana. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. And oh, that's a great. That's Mika a great. put me through yes. my paces. Noah and I left there. Yeah, man. Yes. Listen, like I wanted a burrito when I left over there. <laughs> so, uh, people have done covers of Michael Jackson, instrumentals of that, for example. And it's not that they're copying him, but they just they love what he's doing. Yeah. You know? And it's a great talent as well. Yeah, too. and we also like appreciate it, you know? As long as people are not swearing in our music. Because that's not what you do. Yeah, because we don't do that. Do you think Do you think um, that the, the, the parts of Mikasa yes. that, that come together... Um, individually are so strong that they they can't not make a good mix do you think um, that the formula that you guys have yeah. is so completely in tune to you that no one else could ever come in as a fourth member a fifth member a sixth member uh, um, you know what that's actually interesting because um, we picked that up a while ago or some years ago that hey man people will love seeing the three of us but how about we add more elements? You know? Yeah. So we travel with a full-on band or with a full band, you know. Yeah. And uh, where there's a where there's a sax guy uh, by the name of KB, and there's Carlo Yuster, and he plays bass, and sometimes you have a percussionist also. So um, those are the elements that we've added. And from Tuesday, I'm taking on the harmonica. You know? So I mean, hey, bro, you know, come with ready. it. Ready? <laughs> come with it, man. I'm, I, your new name is Stevie. <laughs> Stevie. <laughs> Stevie Mark. <laughs> Yeah, man. I mean, I think you, you guys have, have worked out so well that it's, it's it's such an easy sound to listen to as yes. well. I think it's it's a very good mix between sort of you know very, you know. <laughs> I mean this in the in the best way possible, and there yes. is a good way about it. This is ringtone music, and the issue with ringtone mm. music is that you hear your phone ring how many times a day? Eight, ten times a day. Yes. If you can listen to that for a month and not get angry at the song, the song must be good. That's the song called "Don't Wanna Be Your Friend." That's yeah. The, that was the most played song. Uh, for the whole of last year and uh, it's still doing well so Don't Wanna Be Your Friend has been a top top track for and it's music. happy music and Mikasa then, music is happy then, music yes and then around the whole of Africa also has been uh, Jiga Jiga has Mate. also been like Jiga. one of our biggest songs that we've ever had yeah. Jiga. and still Jiga. and still rocks yeah you know that's why you sing <laughs> timeless it timeless music man that's timeless why you sing music. it you know? timeless music and then the song that got us onto the map of course it was These Streets you yeah. know and These Streets was also a banger and uh, my my favorite one, as I told you, is um, you said Buena Vive. Buena Vive. Um, yes, Buena Vive. Yeah, yes. and that be- also because I like Mishka. Yes, 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 yes. yes yeah. like He's this. cool, man. That's a yeah. cool guy. Yeah, just don't, don't know him personally, but really, like, <laughs> he's a cool guy, man. We're, we're tight like that. That's a cool guy. Oros or orange juice? Orange juice. Not Oros. Oh, orange. Moti, juice. I'm not coming to your house ever. Hey? Show the line in the sand. Don't believe in homes that don't have Oros. <laughs> Sorry, it is not cool. <laughs> and finally, if you if you could uh, only do this as your gym routine, either you run or you pump iron. You can't do both. Which would you do? Running. Every day? Yeah. Yeah. Cardi is not afraid. Running. Because running puts you into the right proportion that you're supposed to be. You so know? you lose so, properly. So weights, if you lose track, sometimes you find that you've, 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 you've actually become a carrot, man. <laughs> So, so running's better because it, or it'll put everything where it's supposed to be in we, terms, we, in terms of your, your body, or muscles. You know, we we know of a gentleman who has a beautiful body, but he's lacking in the calf department. So all you see is this great body <laughs> and then this tiny little baby calf. Ah! <laughs> and he's like, what happened on leg day? <laughs> Why were you not there on leg day? Hey, so, man. I mean, we, we've, we, we've gone through sort of, you know, most parts of, your, of, your, of, of what you do on a daily basis. Yes. But let's, let me like condense it a bit. So, Mo wakes up in the morning, five o'clock, which is too goddamn early for anyone. But yes. go, okay, five o'clock in the morning, you're up. For sure. What do we do? First thing, you grab a glass of water. Okay. And, uh, or, or two glasses if you want. And then, um, yeah, and then that's all I do. And then I have 
probably a green apple. So just to have like a bite onto something before training. And then sometimes I actually don't even eat. Like I just have water. Okay. Then go straight to training. And then I'll have all the other greens and everything after. And then yo, the guys are always irritated by always seeing me eating oats. So I love jungle oats. Same. You know, I love jungle oats. And just plain oats, man. Don't add all these other things to it. Just give me plain Cinnamon, oats. You know? <laughs> I know, just plain oats. And then you now we're good. And then uh and then the training also the training counts so much you know and I mean you know after hectic training and after you train to a point where you can't breathe anymore I'm sure you're very careful what you put in your mouth yeah man. because <laughs> because you know <laughs> and yes you know and also what oh, drink a whole lot of green tea like I'm always having some green tea um I don't eat meat before I go to bed yeah that's what? yeah no like yeah, that's just I can have meat or lunchtime some chicken breast but I don't have when I go to bed okay right? yeah when, when's the last meal well last meal is supper of course like what time L- like dinner but seven-ish okay yeah six seven you know like the time of the show man <laughs> <laughs> right now he's going to dinner you know, right now Leave you know we're supposed to be right having now. food right here man yeah? <laughs> don't worry we've got yeah. catering chicken can come in through buddy that's a chicken breast yeah. for you <laughs> yeah man and um, yeah and then just drinking lots of water you know I was in this like I had this bad habit of always wanting drinks that are full of sugar you know so and, um, yo, hmm. man, and I was like Hey, like I have to stop this, but water makes a huge difference, and it's not—it's not only like you know you losing weight and stuff, but also your skin gets yep. gets, gets nicer and stuff, and you know, and even the type of fruits that you have because I don't have well, I've got my favorite fruit, which is, which is a green apple, and that's that's a common fruit, you know, from yeah, your tea, you know? anywhere, and and um, you know, also with the fruits, I'm careful, and people like saying all fruits are well, well, good for you, but yes, I do agree, but just. Have one, man, or, or like have two a day, but don't go and kill it and have a, a whole, like a bale. <laughs> yeah, like a bale of stuff, and you're sitting on it the whole day, man. Because I mean, yo, the amount of sugar that goes into that, you know. But I mean, what I'm, so, what I'm, what I'm getting from you is that you yes. know, all things in moderation. Yes, and I also don't put like I don't what. There's no sugar in my tea. There's no, there's no like I don't put. Sweetness and stuff like yeah. might, uh, you might and, and, and your, your body gets used so to it. Your, your body yes, is an instrument yes, that yes. gets used At to first, it. At first, it feels a bit funny, but you know you adapt to it. Yeah, and then you're like, actually, I'm cool. You Do know? you find that you're able to work longer? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Even on stage, like playing a trumpet, it's not it's not a joke, man. Yeah, I mean, you know, so even like the notes go for longer. Can hold my breath on stage much longer. Because uh, you know, there's a whole thing of dancing and trying to play at the same time, which is also You're another an athlete, type of fitness. Buddy. Yeah, which is another type of fitness because yeah. the stage we on we on a stage for for an hour, bright so, lights, so the lights and everything. So that's why after show, yeah, man, the guys are sweating. The guys are sweating, you know. Even if you don't want to sweat, but at a Mikasa show, if you're <laughs> you part of the band, you you're will done. sweat, man. Okay, so I'll play the harmonica next year. Yeah. Um, so what's happening next? What's where are we seeing Moti? When can we go train with Moti? Where can we? You know, oh, you can so train with me anytime yeah. at Sweet One Thousand Bluebird. It's just down the road. Oh yeah. You know, I mean, you've been there. Man. Yeah, Come I have. On, I so, have. Yeah. So no excuses. Yo, that place is hot. Yo, <laughs> look, I'll tell you this. I tell you, it's a really well kitted out area. Um, yes. The equipment is top notch. Yes. The training is amazing. Yes. Um, and also, if you're trying to lose weight, and I've seen it happen not just with you but with Mik- with Mika as yes yes, um, yes yes he's been a great inspiration also and listen you know? so I've got an issue okay no I've got an issue yes so at my gym there's several people whose names will not be mentioned <laughs> but you see personal trainers at gym and you go with oh, that belly with that belly yes yes, yes you're yes, a yes, personal yes. trainer with that belly guys like that you know, there's but I, with, like with with Andrew and his brother, yes. when I saw a photo early on with you, oh yes, um, I mean those they guys, look. Those guys, like they are machines, man. They are machines, eh? and and training with the both of them also. Is you train with both of them? Magic. Yeah, today there was or it was the Luma party today. Okay, and there was the tag team type of training. So two people training at the same time. So you got to listen to two voices, and so this one gives you exercises, and the next guy also gives you exercises. And, and like yeah and it's not easy Yo. stuff uh. but also, also they scare I feel like you know Andrew might no be, no it's not I mean, I mean, know, it all looks intimidating it all, no it looks it looks intimidating but you know what if you stick to your diet strictly you know and things just happen things just happen automatically you know and the more you train you know it's, it's not a scary thing being the training with the guys it's actually more inspiring I'm, I, I mean listen Mika you know? showed me flames man I remember, yes, yes, remember at some know? point I was just like I'm, I thought I was yes, good I thought yes, I was really good know? and now I'm and not. people get there with that attitude of, of like saying 
Ah, you know, ah, I mean, I'm in gym six days a week. It's just treadmills, it's just mats and small weights. Ah, you know, I, well, I got this going. Sometimes the small resources that you have are the things that will make you sweat the most. Like, yeah. You know, but depending on how you're doing, your technique also counts big time. What would you say to Leroy, who's really inspired by um, Mo and he's like, okay, I need to start doing something, but you know, sweat 1000 is a bit far, or you know, we're not yeah. there just yet, the confidence isn't there, I want to lose like 5, yeah. 10 yana. Yeah, what, well, Leroy can start? start small then. And start doing some roadworks, you know, yeah. like just jogging, you know, and starting off with a three kilometer and into a five kilometer. Like a five k is also, you know, it's good enough, you know. I mean, some of us do ten k. Yeah, so, sorry, sorry. <laughs> no, no, it's me. Hey, that's ten k. But you can do five. <laughs> yes, you know, and and yeah, just you know, you'll never go wrong with or with running. Simple push-ups also at home, uh, sit-ups, you know, burpees, you know. Um, yeah, there's just, there's so much, uh, like, cool exercise out there, you know. Just sometimes at home, even, you just need a mat, a simple mat, maybe just a stepper, and maybe just, a, like, one or two kettlebells also, and, you know, and just a few weights. You, you know, can, start you can the, so start the journey there, man. Yes. So yes. I'm looking forward to seeing what the body looks like in a year's time. 100%, um, man. I think uh, we'll... 100%. We'll be the sending, pressure is on. <laughs> top, top. I'll do this, I'll do this. Um, in a year's time, you do, you do how many kilometers? 10. 10 a day uh, well, well not a day but I try day. that you know twice a week where twice I can. a week so you do yes. like 20 a week okay yes. so Mo and I are going to go here. don't give me pressure man. don't mean like on my social media be like hey dude <laughs> what happened to you this week man <laughs> no 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 because no, no. you know I mean, as long as I train I mean that guy I'm like Mo sorry didn't I'm see also into boxing <laughs> boxing is another great sport yeah really good. so yeah I'm also into uh, well boxing and that's another part where you're just sweating the first three minutes of your session so I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna push, give you a challenge yeah so Mo and I are gonna go and do a 12 kilometer what, 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 what do these races do they do like 10 okay 21 only no, 20, 12 brother listen listen you hey, want to do 15 dude no, 15 no can you do 15 15 I can, <laughs> I can 15 and and the aim for me is to finish ne? not to win give to me finish. the place time and the date bro okay so Mo and I are gonna no. go and, 50, we'll do the, and then we'll, we'll have do Team Mikasa and Team Trans Africa, yeah. and um, and we'll be live on social media. Also. Yeah, we'll see. so 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 bring you know you can bring your GoPros, everything your phone. Okay, so we'll do a thing. We'll do a thing. We'll you do a thing. Bring the camera guy, everyone, man, everyone can come. So can you? You wanna you gonna chat with us? You gonna shoot the whole thing? Yeah, we'll shoot the whole thing. Hey. We'll get a go. Yeah, it's gonna so kill you me. Love now. the steep. So fifteen. You more into? I can do whatever. Oh, I can do whatever. Okay. I did ballet. I'm hey, but strong. Guys man. like you are very intimidating. Nah, don't yeah, 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 Don't worry. Listen, I used to. I used to. What's your pace? What's your pace? Uh, I'm I'm putrid. I hate running. I hate cardio with everything in me. I I believe running is we need where, to is agree for on a pace, man. We need to agree on a pace. We'll do, this, we need to do this race. Not happening. You need to do what's like it's sub five minute yeah, we, uh, a kilometer. That's is yeah that between good? five. You know between five thirty and six twenty at least. At six twenty. So between okay, five let's thirty. Say, let's, just say, let's say between five thirty and six thirty. So it's five thirty. So there's five and a half Maximum minutes. Maximum is six thirty. Five five and a half minutes. Yeah. To six and a half minutes. Yes. Per kilometer. Yes. So we times that by fifteen and that's how long we've yes. got. Yes. Okay, cool. Yes. And um if we lose, um yeah, we'll talk about that later. What is the but if you win, oh we'll talk about it. Off you air. buy me a new trumpet, man, and the trumpet <laughs> of my choice. How, how, how how it's, trumpet? In the, it's in the States, bro. Ah, so I, I, yeah. I'm a so lonely I'll radio presenter. So I'll send <laughs> I get paid in jail, yeah. like I'm barely oh. making it through. Special. <laughs> Actually, it's a pet, bro. Ah, yo, yo, pick your fingers aren't even. Fine, <laughs> fine, fine. Are yo, but in the States. Sense? No, bro. Can we discuss the terms later? <laughs> Can we discuss the reward later? Okay, uh, okay Yo, because okay, pink is okay, pink. Pink okay. is like binding, man. Okay, okay. <laughs> that's, that's bigger than hip hop. Maybe, maybe lunch will be on you for a whole okay. month. Okay. You know, a week. Hey, Chase something be careful, else. man. Hey, you know, I'm so confident like I'm gonna win. What if I lose? What if I? Like, <laughs> what if I've been training? Moti, you see, I'm waiting for this day. No, but you're looking good, man. So that's why I'm like, <laughs> hey, you know, I better watch my mouth. Cardio is not my thing. Hate <laughs> hey, cardio. Yeah, hey, man. Cardio. Where do you meet up with Mikasa? When are you guys performing? Where can we find you? Um, when can we follow? I mean, we can, we can track you yes. on social media, Moti underscore well, Mikasa. Yes. Um, but where do we, you know? Well, at Mikasa Music. Yeah. Is uh, this uh, well, uh, the social media, media page, of course, yeah. and on all social media platforms? Yeah. So from Facebook, from Twitter to Instagram, and um, yeah, and then well, mine is at Moti Mikasa yeah. or underscore Mikasa, and um, yeah, we actually just came back from Mozambique now, 
So we've been doing some African, you know, some gigs in Africa. Yes. And then we're doing more of those also. And then, uh, yeah, we're also still here, like, at home, of course, and still doing our thing. And we you can know? get uh, all albums on good music stores, iTunes, everywhere. Yeah, yes, 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 yeah. yes. And, uh, yeah, and then there's just big news, you know, but I'm not going to say anything, but it's just big news. I'll get out of him in a 21K, don't worry. Yes, yes. This, this is Trans Africa Radio. Radio.